Hi, it's Terry Ryder from Hot Spotting. Uh, at this time every week, every Saturday, we publish our weekly edition of our free newsletter, which is called The Wire. Wire stands for the week in real estate. And if there's a common theme running through all the items in this week's edition of The Wire, it's the word resilience. Firstly, the uh, national economy is continuing to show great resilience. It's uh, extended its run of quarters without a recession for 26 years. Now, 26 years without a recession, that's um, quite an amazing run by the Australian economy. The, the latest quarter uh, is showing growth again, and the, in annual terms, uh, the Australian economy is growing at a rate of about 3%, which is pretty healthy. Um, the one um, worrying feature that's been um, highlighted in media coverage of the latest figures is that consumer spending is a little bit down, and that's considered to be one reason why the Reserve Bank this week, yet again, kept the uh, interest rate, official interest rate on hold at 1.5%, um, as expected. So we've had now 20 consecutive months in which the Reserve Bank has met and decided not to change the official interest rate. It's still at that record low level and uh, likely to remain so for, for quite some time. Um, lots of different uh, interpretations of the decision from various um, chattering economists, um, some saying the economic conditions are solid but um, don't warrant higher interest rates and others looking at it from another perspective saying that um, the economic conditions um, are a little bit fragile here and there but don't um, warrant an interest rate cut. So some sort of thinking that the next movement might get cut but most thinking the next movement will be a rise but not any time this year and maybe not even next year. Um, another piece of information that came through impacting on the real estate market which shows uh, resilience is uh, building approvals. Um, over the last six months, um, home unit approvals um, have pretty much risen in all the capital cities. Um, and in that time frame, we've seen uh, for housing approvals arises in places like Canberra and Hobart, um, holding steady in cities like Melbourne and Darwin, and in some of the others, they're down a little bit. But overall, uh, recently we've seen um, house approvals, very strong, unit approvals starting to, to fade, as one might expect, because we've been through a period of uh, record um, building of apartments in some of our major markets, and uh, they were due to come down, um, and we're starting to see that now. But overall, building approvals remain quite resilient, um, and actual that's the approvals, um, actual starts, because um, building approvals don't always translate into uh, starts to construction, but according to the Housing Industry Association, um, the outlook for the short-term outlook for home building remains pretty healthy, um, and it thinks that the uh, strength of the jobs market and also population growth is, are the main reasons why there's a pretty optimistic outlook that uh, building numbers are going to remain fairly solid, although maybe a little bit down in coming years on where they've been at the peak levels in the last few years. Um, home lending is still growing. Um, you might see in some of our uh, more extreme media uh, headlines about a, an impending credit crunch, you know, the impact of the Banking Royal Commission, etc. But um, the latest figures show that um, home lending is still growing. The rate of growth has slowed a little, but um, in April there was another rise and in annual terms, according to the Reserve Bank figures, uh, home lending is up 6% in annual terms. So that's a, a pretty healthy growth rate. It's three times as high as wages growth, which is a point that the Reserve Bank made in its, uh, its comments about uh, home lending this week. So still growing at pretty healthy levels, remaining has that word again, resilient, in the face of uh, some difficult background um, noise, such as the Banking Royal Commission. Um, and uh, we always have a quote of the week in every edition of the week in real estate, and this one relates to that story. Uh, APRA Chairman Wayne Byer saying that, yeah, maybe housing credit, the rate of growth in housing credit is slowing a little, but it's still rising well above household income growth and therefore um, hovering, continuing to hover at that annual growth rate between 5 and 7% where uh, it's been for the last several years. We've got some good um, digital content in this week's edition of the Week in Real Estate. Um, we have a podcast uh, that I, um, I did about the, um, the latest figures on 
foreign investment. And uh, I thought it's quite significant that um, there's been quite a drop off in foreign investment in Australian real estate. And that was um, as a result of a number of disincentives um, implemented by both federal and state governments around Australia, um, new taxes on foreign investors. And it's all done um, allegedly, that's what they claim, that it's done to um, to improve housing affordability. Well, um, we think it's actually going to do the opposite because it's reduced the number of uh, new, um, particularly apartment buildings being built um, because um, developers can no longer get the pre-sales they need to get finance and much fewer apartment buildings are going to be built than otherwise would be the case and the reduction in supply is likely to have a negative impact on affordability rather than a positive one. There's also our location of the week um, live broadcast um, that's also featured in this week's edition of the week in real estate and then this week I focus on northern suburbs of Brisbane, um, the Moreton Bay local government area which has um, a, a number of affordable um, and attractive areas in terms of their um, infrastructure, uh, transport links, uh, amenities, proximity to jobs nodes, but particularly affordability um, in the northern suburbs of Brisbane. So that's the location of the week that I focus on in this week's edition of the Week in Real Estate. It's a free uh, newsletter. You can, um, it's a great way to stay informed about the, the core issues that are underlying real estate markets around Australia. Um, particularly uh, the ones we note this week uh, about the economy because uh, so much of what happens in the housing market is underpinned or reliant on what's happening in the economy, particularly local economies. And that's why we have so many different scenarios playing out around uh, the different locations, the major cities and regional areas around Australia. So you can get a, um, you can sign up for this uh, free weekly newsletter by going to the uh, hotspotting.com for their website. Uh, there's a sign up form on the home page. Uh, so that's it for now. Terry Ryder from Hotspotting signing off. I'll talk to you again soon.